Hey folks, people have been asking me why I'm posting videos about cycling on xmahealing.org. Why am I posting a video about cycling on a channel that's supposed to be about skin health? The healing program is a lifestyle. It's not a diet. This isn't something that you're going to do three times a day at meal times. There's no holidays. There's no free time from healing your skin. This is a lifestyle. This is what we're creating here is we're creating a vision. We're creating a lifestyle so that every waking moment is spent healing your skin. Not that you're thinking about that all day long, but the daily actions, your daily reality, they're all coming together to a place that is not going to allow for disease to be in your life. We want to nurture you to this place, to this vision, to this way of living, to this lifestyle. We want you to be so alkaline, so vital, so so alive that disease is just going to give up. Disease is not even going to bother trying to survive in your body. You know, I've never liked programs that talk about cheat days. You shouldn't have cheat days in your program. If you need to be doing cheat days, there's something inherently unsustainable about what it is that you're doing. What you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing to heal, you should be able to do that every single day of your life. No breaks, no cheat days, no holidays. And we don't need cheat days on this lifestyle. We don't need holidays because we're focusing on the end goal. We're focusing on this vision, this clear skin vision. But it goes beyond that. It goes beyond that. We'll talk about that in a second. But this has got to be fun. It's got to be sustainable. And as a byproduct, your skin will be clear. Cycling is part of the healing lifestyle. It's your transport. Everybody's got to get around. But also it's low impact to you. It's low impact to the environment. It builds friendships. It builds community. You're outdoors, you're catching the sunshine, but all the while you're pumping the lymph, you're sweating out those toxins and you're releasing happy hormones, which mean that you can go to bed satisfied with the day and get up tomorrow and feel like doing it all over again. So it builds that positivity, takes care of motivation. Motivation won't even come up in conversation because it's fun. Your lifestyle is fun. How many of you can run for two hours and then get up the next day and feel like doing that all over again? Nothing against running, I think it's fantastic sport, it's liberating, but there's just something so practical about cycling as part of this healing lifestyle. I included a thriving program at the end of the guide because people just have so much energy on this lifestyle that I felt like giving my two cents on how to spend that energy, how to invest that energy into just becoming lower impact. Why not put that energy into helping your fellow humans, helping the environment, just reducing your impact? Regardless of what belief system you're coming from, regardless of why you're here, maybe you're just here to heal a bit of acne, a bit of eczema, a bit of dry skin, but why not put that extra energy into becoming a lower impact citizen? Why not, put, why not be part of the solution for world poverty instead of being part of the problem? Just to give one example, when we're educated about these things, it's easy done, it's easy to do, it's easy to put into practice. So this goes so much further than just healing the skin. In a way, it's quite selfish just to think about it that far. I'm not saying that we need to be the next Mahatma Gandhi or you know the next Florence Nightingale, but look, you have an opportunity here. If you're on this program, if you've got the energy, if you've got the gains, if you've got the healing that this lifestyle gives, why not fuel that energy into other things too? Why not help others? Why not grow the community? Let the life that you love to live also be the life that keeps you healthy, keeps you well, and keeps your skin clear.